Hey everybody, welcome to Niagara Wine Videos. I'm Brad and I bring you the story behind Niagara's finest wines. And this is the first episode of 2013 and we are going gourmet, my friends. Uh, we have one of the nicest Pinot Noirs uh, from a, uh, an area called Prince Edward County, which is about two, two and a half hours away from Niagara. And it is, or one person in particular, Norman Hardy, is known for making world-class Pinot Noir. Uh, that's right. So uh, he's got international acclaim for his Pinot Noirs uh, from all kinds of wine critics and sommeliers throughout the world, really, uh, scoring about 91 points or higher. And uh, I'm really excited to have one of his wines on the show. Uh, most of his wines you can only find at his winery or from uh, direct purchase from uh, you know his winery online. Uh, but we got this one at the LCBO, and it's probably one of the only bottlings at the LCBO, um, to my knowledge, that you can get. Uh, and I don't know if it comes around every year, so when you do see it, you got to snatch it up, which I did. Uh, very, very happy to have it on the show. Um, just going to give you a bottle shot of it very quickly. Uh, so if you see the bottle shot, it's almost got kind of a cool like Snoopy thing going on here um, with the minimalist approach uh, on the label. And his wines are made in a minimalist approach, uh, believe it or not. You know, he's a real believer in the, um, you know, the terroir notion of a wine, uh, meaning that the, uh, you know, the soil, the climate, the location of the vineyard are all the most important factors uh, in making a bottle of wine. So that is uh, Norman Hardy's approach. Now Norman Hardy is a really interesting cat. Um, he's really a wizard of Pinot Noir. Uh, when you look um, back in his history, uh, you know where he got his uh, knowledge and expertise, uh, it's the holy grail of Pinot Noir, you know, Burgundy, France. So uh, early on he started off his life, um, you know, professional career uh, as a sommelier. Um, he studied at the University of Dijon uh, in Burgundy, France. Uh, continued to stay there and work in, you know, some of the nice bistros and restaurants in Burgundy. Um, and of course, you know, wine connoisseurs from all over the world uh, are really going to Burgundy, France, you know, to get the best Pinot Noir ever. Uh, so, yeah, I imagine these are people with lots of money. So, um, you know, he probably worked at some of the nicest restaurants, got some really, uh, um, really good experience there. Uh, and then he took his experience uh, back to Toronto, Canada, where he worked as a sommelier at uh, the Four Seasons uh, Hotel. Um, and uh, he worked there for several years before uh, he realized he wanted to be a winemaker. So uh, what does Norman Hardy do? Norman Hardy says, I'm going to go to all the best Pinot Noir regions in the world. So he goes to California, he goes to Oregon, he goes to New Zealand, he goes to uh, South Africa. Um, actually, you know, he was born in South Africa and then uh, he came to Canada when he was 14, I think I read in his bio. So he's actually, um, he's actually born in South Africa, so that's probably why I went there. But uh, he went really to all the New World Pinot Noir regions that, that you can think of that's making, you know, world-class Pinot Noir. Uh, so he takes all this knowledge, he comes back to Ontario, uh, looks for a vineyard site uh, that he thinks is... Um, uh, probably, uh, you know, New World, but very Burgundian. Uh, and that was um, the cool climate uh, here in Ontario in the Prince Edward uh, County region. Um, so that's where he sets up shop. He's got a really nice winery. I've never been there. I've just seen pictures and read about it. Uh, he's restored a, a, an old 19th century barn. Um, looks really cool on the outside with metal and wood. Um, and then, uh, but it looks very minimalist. Uh, kind of just like the picture. Um, on the, on the back here uh, of his barn. So everything he does is kind of cool, you know, unique. Um, and his wines have really been, um, uh, you know, celebrated by critics for being Burgundian, you know, very nice, earthy tones, um, not sweet or jammy, really cr crisp, uh, elegant style, soft wines. Uh, everyone cites the elegance of Norman Hardy's wines. Uh, so uh, that's what we're going to do. We're going to try this Norman Hardy wine and we're also going to pair it with some uh, Quebec uh, Brie and some naturally uh, 
made prosciutto, and that's when I say naturally, this is, um, you know, no nitrites or chemicals were used, and the hogs were, you know, farm raised. They weren't, you know, raised in some wacko development by a big corporation. This is uh, Niagara, you know, small craftsmanship um, prosciutto, uh, and it's really, really delicious, you know, cured just with natural salts. So it's got a really nice texture to it, very buttery, uh, very fatty. And the brie is very buttery and fatty as well. But that's what kind of foods you want to pair with uh, a Pinot Noir. Uh, elegant uh, foods, you know, that don't overpower the wine. Just, just kind of complement it. Because uh, you want to taste the nuances of the wine more of the food. Or I do anyway. So you want to pair, um, you know, subtle, creamy cheeses and, you know, f nice, delicate, um, fatty meats. <laughs> um, nothing too smoky or hot. Because then, you know, you won't taste the wine as well. So... Uh, be right back. We're going to pour the wine and give it a shot. Okay, we're back. And again, we're tasting the 2009 Norman Hardy County Pinot Noir. It's unfiltered. Uh, again, that minimalist approach to preserve, uh, you know, the integrity of the wine. Um, and I must uh, mention that uh, the wine, the vineyards, so are all planted in limestone um, on Norman Hardy's estate there in uh, Prince Edward County. Uh, which should impart some nice minerality uh, qualities into the wine. So let's just pour it here. As a rule, Pinot Noir is always light, or uh, let me back up. Um, nice Pinot Noirs are always light. Uh, I find that the darker the Pinot Noir is, the poorer the quality. Uh, it's been over extracted, it's got uh, too many tannins. As a result, it's very tannic in your mouth. Kind of takes away from the subtlety. Um, and, you know, the silkiness and the elegance that Pinot Noir should bring to the table. And that's why what makes it so much different than wines like Cabernet Sauvignon, Cabernet Franc, um, really any other wine um, on the planet. Pinot Noir is very special that way. Uh, and Norman Hardy has been cited for making such elegant, uh, soft, special Pinot Noirs. Uh, this is why critics just fall in love with his wine. So uh, let's uh, give it a nose, a shot here. And yeah, you get really nice uh, smoky, musty flavors. Uh, um, it's all aged in French oak. Um, so you get that creaminess, actually. The smoke is blowing off a little bit now. You just get that, um, you know, that nice creamy uh, vanilla oaky uh, scent, but not over the top. You get uh, some earthy uh, like red beet flavors in there. And, uh, you know, a little bit strawberry vanilla. Uh, so classic Pinot Noir, um, uh, and really the earthiness is classic Burgundian notes you get in there. So let's just give it a shot here. Maybe I'll just give you a shot of the color, actually, before I take a sip. Really, really light. I don't know if you can see that. It is so light. Uh, you know, you can see right through it, kind of like Elton John's sunglasses. <laughs> so let's give it a taste here. Mm. Very elegant. Mm. Really, really nice tart finish. So there's definitely some tension going on in there. Um, you know, that sweet uh, strawberry, vanilla, oaky flavor. You smell, uh, you get that in the very beginning, but it very quickly turns sweet to sour. Um, Cran apple, uh, real crisp. Um, uh, tarty kind of finish, so uh, I see why the critics like it. Uh, it's very put together. It's very elegant. Mm. But it's definitely got some interesting tension there, so you know, which makes it kind of special. Um, and really dry, you know, really gripping your tongue, and um, for a wine that shows basically no tannins at all, that's like a Houdini act, you know, very cool. Um, you know, it's got very nice balance and structure and elegance. Um, and you wouldn't think that from a wine that you can literally see right through, right? So, uh, pretty amazing job, Norman Hardy. I can see why he's got international uh, acclaim for his Pinot Noirs, and obviously that comes from years and years of experience. Uh, the guy's traveled the globe, really dedicated his life to Pinot Noir, uh, and it shows in the bottle for sure. 
so let's just uh, take some of this prosciutto. Again, this is natural um, farm-raised um, uh, pork, uh, and it is only cured with sea salt, so very natural, very buttery, very delicious. Uh, it's called pingu uh, prosciutto, um, and it's made here in Niagara, so really nice stuff. Um, put some of that in my mouth, and I take some Quebec uh, double cream brie, and try a little bit of that. The idea here is that the fatty pr proteins, you know, fatty from the milk, and the fat from the meat, because for this prosciutto, even though it's all natural, it's still a very fatty meat. Um, all those proteins and nice buttery fatty notes are going to make uh, the wine stand out. So let's just try it here. Mm -hmm. Still got that tension, but definitely the finish goes on longer. Really nice, and it's very it makes it creamier. So you gotta pair, you know, really nice subtle. Delicate meats and creamy cheeses with your Pinot Noir really gives you an incredible experience. And um, I must say that the acidity in this wine is really nice. It makes your mouth water. <laughs> so really, really nice experience. If you ever see a bottle of Norman Hardy Pinot Noir, it is so unique and so special. It sells out like, you know, snap of your fingers when it comes out. So I was very lucky to grab this when I saw it. It's not cheap. Like I said, it's probably $40, $45 uh, for this bottling here. And this is just the county Pinot Noir. He probably makes other ones. Uh, but you got to try it. You absolutely have to try this Pinot Noir because uh, it is very different, very cool, very elegant. Um, and like the critics uh, note, it's very Burgundian, so maybe a cool experiment would be to get, you know, um, you know, Premier Cru uh, um, Burgundy and, and try it next to this and, you know, see if they're, they're similar. So uh, I think they are. Uh, I should have had one, actually, to try, but uh, maybe that'll be another show. Norman Hardy, Pinot Noir, Unfiltered, Prince Edward County. Uh, you got to give it a shot, guys. Delicious. Cheers.